Welcome back to another episode of the BCHL Report brought to you by Ultimate Hockey and Skate. I'm your host, Fraser Rogers, joined by V's captain, Tyson Jost. The ultimate prize is behind us right now on the wall, but uh, baby steps for the V's. And so far, so good in the postseason, and in particular round two. You have a 2-0 series lead heading into uh, West Kelowna tonight and tomorrow. Let's recap the first two games. Kind of similar to uh, the Vernon series. You know, big game one win followed by a, a tight game two win. Uh, what did you see in those first two games? Yeah, I thought game one we played really good. We had a lot of energy coming out of the gate. and I mean, it was a really good team game for us. And game two, obviously, it's it's the second game in two nights there, so it's a little tougher. And I mean, both teams are are feeling the, the playoff experience. So, But I thought we played really well. I mean, we didn't panic. And when we got down that goal in the third there, we, we didn't panic and we just stuck to the process. And I think that was huge for us. I mean, we ended up uh, squeaking one out in overtime there. And I mean, like I said, we just stuck to the process and then good things happened for us. Let's talk about the, maybe the game tying goal and the game winner as well. Scott Conway, we dubbed him Mr. Overtime with the team. Uh, the game tying goal, you made a great pass to him. You talk about composure. Is that key for this team in those big moments, not panicking? Yeah, I think it is. I mean, you saw us on the bench. Our, our demeanor didn't change at all. We just stuck to the process, like I said before. And I mean, like I said, the good things happened. And I mean, we did a we did a really good job at uh, executing our uh, six on five there. And I mean, Fabs made a good pass to me down on the half fall, and I just slid it over to Conway. And I mean, he was open and. Like I said, Conway, he put it in the open net there. So, I mean, it was good for him to get that goal. And then, obviously, in overtime there, too, it went off the skate. And, I mean, we were due for a bounce. You could see in that 5-on-3 uh, that we had earlier in the first, I think. You look on the replay, and it, it did look like the, the puck went in. But, I mean, you can't dawn on that. and just shows uh, our experience through our team. I mean, we didn't worry about it too much. And, like I said, we stuck to the process, and, and good things happened for us. So, And then they also had that 5-on-3 five on, five on there where... We uh, gained a lot of momentum from it and then ended up scoring right after. So it was, a, it was a tough bounce, but I mean, like I said, we sucked the process and, and good things happen. Now, I guess you can't really say you have, but have you played with a guy like Scott Con Conway? I don't think anybody has the way you know, he steps up in the clutch. What is it about him that makes him so special? Uh, I don't know, honestly. He knows how to score. He has a knack for the net, so I mean, he's fun to play with. He has a lot of chemistry, and I mean, he knows how to shoot the puck, so whenever you get that guy the puck in front of the net, it's, it's, it's bound to go in, so he's a fun guy to play with, and he's a funny guy off the ice, too. Have you noticed uh, in the playoffs, they talk about to each round getting harder. Have you noticed the uh, level of intensity step up already in the first two games here? Yeah, 100%. I mean, Vernon was a really hard series, and then you come to West Side, and that's even a harder series. So it just every every round you go, it's going to get tougher. And I mean, you're going to feel that playoff experience, like I said. And I mean, West Side's a big team. They have a lot of speed. So uh, this, this third and fourth game here, they're going to be huge for us, and they're going to be huge for them too. So both teams are going to come with flying. 2-0 over West Kona, looking for a big game three and four win this week. Fraser Rogers for the Ultimate Hockey and Skate, BCHL Report.